Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Angel Marino, but you can call me Mac Daddy. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite vacation glam makeup look. I've been traveling a lot lately and I have so much travel coming up in these next few months. So I was really inspired to show you guys the type of makeup that I do when I'm on vacation. Now, when I say on vacation, I'm specifically referencing like buy a body of water. Some are tropical, some are yummy, some are delicious. I actually recently went to St. Bart's with NARS and it was absolutely amazing. Beautiful water, beautiful beaches. This is definitely gonna be my version of a no makeup makeup look, but still very like vacation, poolside, beachside appropriate. All about skin, you guys can see, I like really don't have much going on in my eyes. Everything's just really fresh and dewy if I do say so myself. So if you wanna know how to achieve this makeup look, Keep on watching. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So typically, when I think of like me on vacation, nine times out of 10, it's always by like a body of water. Like I love like a tropical moment. Unfortunately, a lot of those times, it's more on like the humid side, which is <laughs> not the tea when you are wearing makeup. So with this makeup, I really kind of want to go with the less is more, even though sometimes it ends up being a little more than what I really wanted to. So just a fair warning disclosure before we even get started. Um, I'm gonna attempt my no makeup makeup moment, but my version of that might be a little different than yours. But I typically start off with priming my skin. For my primer, I'm gonna be using this YSL Beauty All Hours Primer. I really like this primer because it's not only really great for your makeup, but it also has an SPF 8 Teen. Now, the one thing that I will say is this primer is a little bit more on the matte side. All of the products and like the finish that I want on my skin is gonna be more on like the dewy, glowy side. But I find that using like a mattifying primer before all of those textures just kind of helps, you know, the makeup stand a little longer, especially if you are vacationing somewhere a little bit more on the humid side. So we're gonna go ahead and just get started with this. So typically when I open it, I just like to just pour a little bit on the back of my hand. She's a little bit more on the liquidy side. I'm just gonna go ahead and rub this all over my skin. It's so funny because I feel like I never used to care about SPF. And now that I'm a little older, I'm like, we need to make sure everything has SPF because she is not cute for the skin. I can also put some on my forehead. All right, so I really love the texture that that gives my skin. It makes it feel really nice and soft, nice and smooth, which is exactly what I want my skin to look like. Nice, soft, smooth moment. For my foundation, you guys know how much I love, I actually have it right here. This is my Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation from NARS. Um, but today, I'm not gonna be using this because on vacation, I like something a little bit more lightweight, something that looks a little bit more, you know, like skin. So we're gonna be using Sheer Glow Foundation. I use the same shade in both. This is shade Valencia. I'm gonna mix the foundation with their brand new Orgasm Liquid Highlighter. So mixing these two is just gonna make this foundation just a little bit more luminous, more glowy, more sexy. I just want my skin to literally look like so radiant so that when I'm, you know, laying on the beach or by the pool, you know, I'm just like, you know what I mean? All right, before we apply foundation, I'm gonna take a little sip of my vacation beverage. I told myself, since I'm filming a vacation makeup moment, I needed to kind of get myself on like vacation mode. So I made myself a little vacation cocktail. Um, it's actually not a cocktail, but we're just gonna go ahead and pretend. It actually is my collagen water by Battle Proteins, and no, this is not sponsored. I just like live for it. Um, I just thought it would be a cute little moment. But before you guys come for me for drinking out of a straw, I just want everybody to know, okay, I do not purchase straws anymore. This is actually leftover party supplies from like 2017, and I figured like why well, just throw them away? Might as well use them, so don't judge me, sis. Oh, that's so delicious. Back to where we were, I'm gonna mix a little bit of my sheer glow with the liquid glow. And I typically just do this like in the back of my hand. All right, so I'm literally just pouring a little bit, ooh, that was a lot of it, on the back of my hand because I don't have a little uh, mixing dish, which I should, but when you're on vacation, you're probably not gonna have one too, so it's a-okay. I really like how this component, when you twist it open, that's kind of what picks up the product. It literally is so beautiful. And then you just like press on the cap and it pours it. So I thought that that was like super cool. And then like when you close it, you'll see that the top goes down. Isn't that so cute? 
how it just does that. I live for that. So just gonna take a little bit and mix it in with the foundation. I literally did the entire pump. I'm just grabbing a brush. This is um, one of the Moschino and Sephora um, pencil brushes. I just had it in front of me, so I'm just using this. Literally just mixing it in the back of my hand, you guys. So I'm gonna take my handy dandy, beautiful brand new beauty blender. I love a fresh, unused, untouched, freshly soaked and squeezed beauty blender. It's the best in the world. So I'm literally just gonna take it from the back of my hand with my sponge, just like so. And we are just gonna start to stipple it on our face. You guys probably can't really see it on camera too much, but looking at it up close, like it really does have a really nice sheen. I mean, it kind of already has a really pretty glow, like the foundation itself already, but adding that liquid highlighter just kind of gives it a little like, a little kick, you know what I mean? And with my beauty blender, I literally love to just stipple it on all over. Really make sure that it looks nice and even. And what I really love about this foundation is that it doesn't look heavy. You know what I mean? It gives me the coverage that I like, but it doesn't look cakey on the skin. It doesn't look like too much. I mean, if you look at this side, foundation, this side, no foundation. Looks good, girl, looks good. So now that I've applied my foundation, I like to go in and apply a little bit of like a more dewier spray. I've been so obsessed with this lately. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. It was so hard to say, I don't know why. Um, it smells amazing. If you guys have ever tried their sleeping mask, their watermelon sleeping mask, literally same fragrance, it smells amazing, feels amazing, looks amazing. So I like to just kind of um, shake it. I'm gonna spray it on my face. Mm. It literally smells amazing and I love this fine mist. Like it's just so, Fine. Such a fine mist. I'm just gonna let that kind of dry down and then I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and just kind of press into my skin again just to make it look a little bit more healthy, a little bit more radiant. And because I'm psychotic, I'm gonna spray a little bit more. All right, so I'm really liking how my overall skin is looking. So now we are gonna move on to a little bit of concealer. So when I'm on vacation, I don't do like a full blown like red carpet moment. I like to look like I have makeup on, but like I don't. You know what I mean? Like he looks flawless, but like he's too flawless. So like, is he wearing makeup? Like that kind of vibe. So for my concealer, I'm gonna be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm gonna be using the shade Custard. Why am I reading it? Like, I don't really know what shade I use. I use this all the time. And I'm just going to apply some underneath my eye area, just like so. I normally go like in, like in with my concealer. Um, but I try to, you know, hold back a little bit when I do my vacation glam. Okay, so got the concealer on. I'm gonna take the other side of my beauty blender that doesn't have product on it, and I'm gonna just use this to stipple this away, really blend it out nicely. I like to make sure that when I apply my concealer and I'm blending towards the edges, I like it to kind of pull up a little bit. So you guys will notice that sometimes I'll kind of like purposely stipple upward, because I find that like once you apply the bronzer, this can kind of make your eyes look a little bit more lifted. Okay, so I always go in with a second concealer, which is the same concealer in a lighter shade. This is Shade Vanilla. I'm gonna do so just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, just for a little oomph, like right in here, like barely. And I'm really gonna use that with my Beauty Blender to kind of start to snatch this nose up on the edges. And then what I'll do, I'll just like literally turn my blender around to the side that had the foundation and I'll lightly just kind of stipple over where I completely apply that concealer just to kind of, you know, make her look a little bit more seamless, if you will, you know what I mean? A little bit more. All right, I'm feeling good about this. I like how this looks. All right, so moving on to a little bit of a contour moment. So I typically like 
my cheeks to look nice and dewy. So I normally contour with a cream when I'm on vacation. I love using like foundation sticks um, or like a specific like contouring or like a bronzing stick moment. Um, for this today, I'm gonna be using this NARS Velvet Matte Foundation Stick in the shade Trinidad. And I'm literally just gonna sculpt my cheeks a little bit. We're also gonna do the nose. Okay, the nose looks a little wonky, but I promise you once we blend her out, it's gonna be snatched. Now I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and I like to go in with the bottom where there's no product and I'll literally just kind of stipple in the areas where I laid down that product to really start to blend it and marry it into my highlight a little bit more. Yeah. I feel like it looks a little intimidating, a little scary when you lay it down, but once you start to blend it, it just looks really, really pretty. And you guys know I like to bring my product a little bit more diagonal to kind of really give me the like, that cheekbone moment that I want. So I typically do that with my sponge. And I go back and forth. I'll do the bottom, and then I'll go back to the side that has that like leftover foundation to kind of blend the highlight and the contour just to kind of make it look a little bit more seamless. It's fine, she just looks a little bit more like, just natural, you know? Like, is it his cheekbone, is it not? I don't know, but it's flawless. Now, sometimes what'll happen to me as I'm blending out anything cream, sometimes because the bottom of the sponge is a little bit bigger, I sometimes can tend to bring the contour down a little bit lower than what I would normally want, but that's totally okay because we're gonna go back in with a little bit more of just the foundation just to give it a little cleanup underneath. You guys have seen me do that before. So I'm literally gonna pick up a little bit of this foundation in the back of my hand again. Hopefully not like a toddler this time. And I'm just gonna pick it up on my beauty blender, just like so. I don't wanna do too much because I, I want it to look a little bit more subtle. And we're gonna just kind of start to clean up underneath. I don't know if you guys can see what finessing I just did. Um, but after I do that, I'll go back in with the bottom of the blender and just try to give it a nicer blend so that it's not too harsh. All right, I feel good about that. So we're gonna do the other side. Exact same thing. All right, so I'm feeling good about that. Um, we're gonna move on to our little nose contour moment. I'm gonna take the same beauty blender and I'm just gonna use the bottom of the blender as well just to kind of stipple where I've laid down that contour around my nose. I think I maybe, maybe might have done a little too much on this side, but we're just gonna make it work, sis. And we haven't set this, so if you lost any brightness that you feel like you wanted, you can always go back in and layer a little bit more concealer. Even though I try to tell myself not to do that, because again, I don't want to look like too much, but I'm gonna do it just a little bit, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, um, specifically to highlight my nose. So I'm literally just gonna go in here, down the bridge of my nose, super lightly, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And then I'm gonna pinch the tip of my Beauty Blender and blend that out. This is when the snatchery happens this exact moment right here. All right, I mean, I feel really good about this. So we are just gonna just blend out like any lines, any creases, and then we're gonna lightly, lightly, lightly set underneath the eyes. And typically when, I, when I'm on vacation, um, I do like to set my under eye area, um, just not too much, you know what I mean? It can't be too much. So I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. And I'm actually going to lightly apply this with a blending brush. This is a Sigma Tapered Blending E40. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that loose powder and I'm lightly just gonna tap. Now I typically do crease a little bit directly under my eye, which is why I'm using a smaller blending brush but I just wanna be able to kind of press it underneath, you know, and lightly kind of just sweep it out. I don't want my entire face to look matte, like I wanna look glowy, dewy, fresh, so I don't wanna to apply too much powder underneath my eyes. It's kind of more just like precise where I know the lines happen. I'm also lightly gonna take some around my nose where I know I tend to crease a little bit as well. There's any spots in your face where you're like, you know, you know that you crease, Throw a little bit of powder on her, girl. Just a little bit. Do the other under eye. All right, I think 
think I feel good about this. If you wanted to, you could totally go in with some bronzer, um, a powder bronzer if you kind of want to set it a little bit more, you kind of want a little bit more of a, you know, a little bit more of a kick. I kind of feel like I don't, I don't want to do that. I kind of feel like I just want to let her be what she is right now. Maybe I might add some at the end. Maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. So we're gonna move on to adding a little bit more of a glow to our skin. I'm really excited to show you guys this. You guys might have seen it if you guys follow me on stories and Instagram, which if you're not, I don't know why. This is their brand new Endless Orgasm Palette. It is so beautiful. Packaging, I mean like home run, like always. But the actual product in here, they're all cream highlights, you guys. And they're all different versions of Orgasm, which is like an iconic, iconic blush from NARS. So I'm actually gonna use this bronzy tone right in here. And I'm gonna stipple it over my cream contour kind of where I would apply a little bit of bronzer just to kind of add a little bit more of a sheen to my cheeks. And then we're gonna go and mix these two right in here to add a little bit more of a glow and a highlight to my skin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm literally gonna take my finger, I'm gonna pick up some of this color. This one is Orgasm Fever, that's her name. She's so pretty and bronzy, look at that. I know you guys see that, you see that beautiful sheen. And I'm just gonna take some and kind of warm it up in the back of my hand just like so. And I'm gonna take the bottom of my beauty blender to pick some of it up. And then we're gonna apply it to our cheek. Now again, this is a little bit more of a subtle glow moment, but still a glow moment nonetheless. You guys see that? It just adds like a really pretty, just like dewy, bronzy, like sheen to the cheek. Very vacation vibes. You guys see that? So pretty. Living for that. So now we're gonna add a little bit more of a sheen and a glow to our face. I'm gonna take these two shades, the bottom two, these right here, those two. I'm literally gonna take it with my finger and I'm gonna literally go back and forth from the two. I love being able to use my fingers with these, by the way. And they look really, really beautiful on your eyes too. I'm gonna warm it up a little bit in the back of my hand and then I'm lightly gonna start to tap it onto my cheek. And I really like to bring this a little bit around my eye as well. I literally go back and forth between like all my fingers for this, I don't know why, but I do. Can you do the same thing on the other side? So I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just lightly going to just gonna stipple like right underneath my eye. Just kind of make it blend a little bit better. And of course we cannot forget a little bit down the bridge of our nose. All right. So because again, I'm a psychopath, we're gonna spray a little bit more of this glow recipe. Watermelon mist, watermelon glow mist. Mm. So moving on to my brows and my eyes. I typically don't do my brows when I'm on vacation because not gonna lie, I normally end up sweating them off. But I do like to do a little bit of a brow gel. So I'm gonna be using this Lancome Brow Styler. This is in shade number three. And I like it because it looks like a little comb. Like the brush literally looks like a little comb. Now that I've been letting my brows grow out a little bit more, I feel okay with just putting some brow gel in them. And I typically, when I do, I try to brush them up to try to give you like the more like bushy, like fashion looking brow illusion moment, even though I don't really think it works for me. But, you know, do it anyway. I'm literally just gonna brush up. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Loving how that looks. I typically don't do much eyeshadow on my eyes because I normally wear sunglasses. So I'm just gonna curl them. I'm gonna give them a little bit of a curl and put on a little bit of mascara and call it a day when it comes to the ojos. I'm gonna use my Lancome eyelash curler. All right, that gave me what I needed in my life right now. I actually really like this, like with no lash, no mascara, just a nice little curl. Typically though, I would add a little bit of mascara um, and maybe a little bit of bronzer. Like I like to just kind of dust it like underneath my lash line, but I'm really kind of digging this. Just like giving you like a skin moment. You know what I mean? Like all I'm giving you is skin. I'm feeling it. I think I'm gonna run with it and I think I'm just gonna leave it like that because 
This is actually giving me what I need right now in my life. Moving on to my lips, I'm gonna be using this NARS Orgasm Oil Infused Lip Tint. Literally so nice on the lips. It literally feels like an oil. It doesn't feel like a gloss, but it's so high shine. And it just gives your lips like a tiny little hint of pink. Like it's not too overwhelming. I think if you look at it straight in here, you're gonna think that it looks literally like that dramatic, but it kind of is really, really nice and sheer. You see how it just makes your lips look nice and like plush, you know, like again, effortless, right? What we're going for, the no makeup makeup. She doesn't have a full blown, you know, opaque lip moment, but you know, she's still giving you like, you know? Okay, I'm glad you know. So I'm filling the face. I really don't want to do much more to be honest. This is kind of typically what I wear when I'm literally on vacation on the beach by the pool. However, I do want to add a little bit of body glow. So we're going to go back in with that liquid highlighter by NARS in Orgasm. And we're just going to just cover our chest with it. We're going to do a little rubbing motion and just get our glow on. Just going to rub her in. Do a little bit more. Ooh. Here for this moment. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see if she's just getting my skin all the way together. Now I'm gonna go back in with that palette just to kind of highlight some parts of my chest just to kind of make them stand out a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and pick up some of those lighter colors. And we're just gonna stipple our chest just a bit. What do I want? Make that girl pop a little. Make this girl pop a little. Mm. I like that. Giving you the ooh ah sensation, girl. About to go jump into somebody's pool. Ooh. Love, 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 love how this looks. Um, before we wrap this video up, I did want to share a couple other things that are like vacation must-haves that you guys actually ask about sometimes and I don't really, I guess, share them enough. Um, first thing, hair products. So when I'm on vacation, I like to just like wash my hair and then I like to just kind of like naturally let it air dry. Um, I naturally have more of this like curlier texture. It's not wavy and it's not really straight. So when I get out of the shower, this is what I do. This is my secret weapon right here. This is the IGK Mistress um, Anti-Freeze Leave-In Conditioner. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, but basically what I used to do, um, that one of my friends, David taught me, hairstylist, shout out to David Lopez. Um, he taught me to leave a little bit of conditioner in my hair after I washed it so that my curls kind of had like a nicer pattern. But once I discovered this, I like don't have to do that because that's basically this. This is basically like a leave-in conditioner, but it's a little bit more like designed for like doing that. So as soon as I get out of the shower, I towel dry and I do, um, I do a pretty generous amount of this, not gonna lie. And I'm just kind of like let it sit in my hair while it's still wet. And then after I let it air dry, I go back in with this other product. This is also from IGK. This is the Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel. And I just apply a little bit of this once it's dry because it kind of gives it a nice, like shiny texture again, makes it look a little wet, but again, like effortless, just really beachy, like it just, you know, got dry on its own by like being out in the sun. That's kind of my vibe that I try to give you when I'm on vacation. Now, another question that I get asked a lot too is like what fragrances I wear. Now, you guys, this is literally like my favorite vacation, summer moment. I think a lot of you guys are gonna agree. And that's the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. This literally smells like the sexiest vacation <laughs> I've ever taken in my life. And I recently discovered this at Sephora. They make it in an all over body spray. What, like I literally flipped when I saw this, so I had to grab it. I'm almost out. I'm actually gonna go ahead and spray myself right now. <sighs> Literally smells amazing. Um, the next time you're in Sephora, just do yourself a favor, give it a woof. And if you purchase it, you're welcome. So I also wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite sunnies to take with me when I'm on vacation. You guys have seen me wear these like all the time because I always wear them when I'm on vacation. The first pair is this baby right here. This is from a brand called Crap. 
eyewear. I know it sounds crazy, but that's literally the name of the brand. I think I got these like in a gift bag or something or like a gifting lounge or something like that. But I think they're so cute. I feel like they give me like my bad bunny on vacation fantasy. I love that I can see through them and you can see my eyes. So if I was to do like a lash or like more of an eye moment, I think these are great because you can kind of, you know, still see them. They don't get lost. All of that hard work energy doesn't go to waste. You know what I mean? Um, but I love these. These are like super vibes to me. I think these are awesome. And then these are my girl, don't talk to me. Like I can't be bothered. Like I'm on vacation leave me alone these are the key x desi i don't remember the exact names of them or if they're still available but i know that they're from her collection and i think they're so freaking cute i just feel so sassy in these and this glow oh like literally look at my chest like i'm not even just saying it because it's my chest but like all right i need uh, I'm gonna wrap this video up, I'm gonna go to the pool. Anyway, before you guys leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't be shady, be a lady. Make sure you guys thumbs up this video if you liked this makeup look. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any vacation plans this year. Um, quick story, I normally take a birthday trip every year. My birthday's in July, so it's quickly approaching and I need to figure out where to go. I kind of really don't have a clue. A part of me is like going to Mexico. A part of me wants to go to like somewhere exotic and tropical and an island and I just really don't know. So if there's anywhere that you guys have been that you absolutely love, please let me know where it is. I'm always open to suggestions and listening to, you know, where you guys have been and why you love it. Besides that, make sure you guys turn on your notification bell so that you guys don't miss a video. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.